Hey now, it's Steve Sievers, Bonic Buzz, timed up to Hey Now Perfectly here in Hollywood for the annual Strange 80s Benefit Concert. It's going to be amazing red carpet. Let's go see who we can talk to. Brandon Clinton, more people from Rock Recovery. I've already known about Wes and Sonny. Talk about what you guys do. You guys write songs with military people. Some of them don't even know how to play these instruments. Predominantly with the Everything that we do as far as groups with other uh, treatment centers as well is primarily with people who don't know how to play music, right? All right. We go in and we teach them and, uh, and give them the opportunity to do that. And you'd be surprised how easy it really is if you listen to music and you can pick up a guitar or pick up a drum, write a lyric, just like we would fool around and write songs too. Yeah. You know? You know, I, I don't know who created the universe. Yeah. I don't. But it, but whoever created the universe really likes music. Because it, it turns out when you play music, it fires off more brain activity than anything else you can do in life. Number one top dog. You can go check Dr. Yeah, Google. Can, yeah, Google yeah. it. Yeah, Google that. <laughs> and it turns out when you, that activity, your brain turns playing music into medicine. Right? Medicine that brings down our anxiety naturally. And for us who are in recovery and for us that are in, in the field of healing space and mental health, if we can naturally bring down our anxiety, we stand a much better chance of not making impulsive decisions. And how many people have gotten into trouble because of impulsive decisions? Oh yeah. Right? And so that's what we're there. We're there to intersect people that are impulsive Right, well, like us. Like, yeah. like that's the most suicide is. It's just an impulse, you know. Yeah. And so we, we you got to be able to stop that. You know? Yeah. So we're at the intersection of, of impulsive thinking, and we give people an opportunity to be like, ah, let me press pause on that idea for a second. Just because I have a bad idea doesn't mean it has, has to turn into bad behavior. Yes. Right. Right. Amen. You know. I mean, because we we've been in recovery a long time. Spoiler alert, we've had horrible ideas. Right, I think part of what got us and people like us, whether you play music or not, was the decisions you made, put you in a bottom, however, however far you go, and then you can get out. And we've been fortunate enough to stay out and help yeah. other people kind of do it with music and yeah. whatever you're doing to feel that way. Yeah. All right, so you guys have a benefit show coming up or here, actually. 24th at the Fonda. August 24th. With the, here. With the Rocks Recovery Band, Sacred Sons. Sacred Sons. And we'll have some other guest stars. Yeah, we, can't tell, you, we can't tell you the other names yeah. right yeah. now until the... Yeah. until There might be a borderline yeah. somebody, something, right. you know. Yeah, people go support, either buy tickets to come here or just donate if they just love the cause. Yeah. Well, look up Rock to Recovery on Instagram. Or, yeah, Instagram, Facebook. Or rocktorecovery.org. Yeah. .org. And, we'll, and, and you, know, you, can get, you can purchase the tickets. What are you purchasing tickets for? It goes towards our programs where people have no budget. Yeah. Right. So every single this week. This is a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah so every single us, week, we go to the VA hospital in Brentwood. Every week. We go to the VA hospital in Long Beach and we work with guys with um, spinal cord injuries. We go to the Boys and Girls Club. We go to indigenous programs that have no money. And yet they have people that are suffering that would love to have our program. Right. We go to county run facilities for troubled youth. Yeah. Kids who are out there doing in, in gangs and doing drugs and you know, hanging out with the wrong people, we can kind of tell them like, you know, maybe you can grow up and do whatever you want. We had Danny Trejo come down and do Rock oh, Recovery so cool. with us. We're trying to get him to the show, but like guys like that, it can influence maybe some kids on how to change their life in a positive way. So when people are purchasing a ticket, they're funding those people getting Rock to Recovery. That's what they're getting. That's what they're giving us to give to other people. So they're basically giving music to troubled youth, to veterans suffering with PTSD, traumatic brain injuries. They're giving that. When they come here and they, they, uh, uh, they do the auction, yeah. they, we have a great auction, raffles, all the money's going to that exact cause. I love it. And all the music goes on SoundCloud so people can actually check it out. Right, yeah, we have Rock to Recovery SoundCloud. Yes. 
the guy, the songs that we write with the people that we write them with, and then they can listen to it and they help write it. And they're like, dude, it was like you know, with the guy from Kill Radio or the guy from Corn or whatever, yeah, or just, or even just, I wrote you know, that guys, song, no matter what. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank yeah, you yeah. very much. Yeah. So when they jump in the when they jump in the the van, the 15 passenger van. They're rocking out to their own song. Yeah, I know. Cool. You know? Yeah, they really do. Right. And, and they listen to it. Count me in coming here in August. I would love to support you guys any way possible. Thank you. Thank you.